Welcome to part 21 of the White Huns campaign for Total War Attila. Now in the last part, we the hordes quite literally burnt their way across Asia Minor here and basically devastated the Eastern Romans and we're now very much on the brink, brink of moving and seeing. How can you say of devastating Constantinople? I think there's a settlement down here, but I'm not sure. And this army has obviously been pretty heavily damaged. And I think what we're going to do is going to go straight for it. Just going to lay siege to their lay siege. Want to be praised? How can I help? You can come up behind. Just in camp, and I think we're going to merge these guys up. Probably get rid of you. Recruit. Maybe one more of those just to bring these forces up to strength. Um, we get rid of you and recruit you because you give you some rank. And maybe get rid of you. We need good fighters. Because these guys have got some rank and status. I'm not going to attack this turn. And I think we can. Sami can kind of just move down to here. Your next command in camp. Maybe you can come down to here. That's all. Came too far. I, am the I think this army can consider coming down towards Rhodes. Although, to be honest, I'm a little bit careful about wandering around in the water. Got maximum number of spies and all that. Let's have a quick Ready look here. What have we got here? You, you've got plenty of food, but. Unigard, Socrian Camel Raiders, that would be nice. But that would consume 50 food. Got goat pens, got goat pens. Attic Tribesmen, I think we're we'll going with some murders yurts here in the battle axes. And I'll mess that one up. You still growing and I want you to create the horde so I've got to resist the temptation to let's say we've got plenty of cash so you're besieging Constantinople but you don't oh well it's, it's for the fun of it let's we build some siege engines A settlement over there that could be worth checking out. I think we'll bring the golden army in close, but keep that other army down in the south a bit, just to keep keep the pressure on the Eastern Romans. I bring word that my lord. I am not to paying end. you any cash. I'll be coming over to destroy you once I've finished with the Eastern Romans. So we're probably going to have to come over and go south down against Axum. Or maybe we we'll have to go north. Tribute. 
Greetings, I have brought a gift from my people in order that we may improve relations, engage in faction politics. Got to get this out of the way. I think we'll just accept the gifts because we are a noble Khan. Um, just before we yes. do anything, I think we'll send you out this way. Impossible. Um, send you up this way just to see oh there's the Huns hello Huns hello brother let us break bread and drink before words I certainly don't want to fight a war with you so let's, let's see if we can offer you some cash 18,000 I'm not going to offer you that much I'll you 5,000. Yep. For the gods! Let them cower! Uh, yeah, I'm gonna fight it, because this is Constantinople. Oops. We're gonna fight it. Sorry about this bit of brain fade here, guys, but Constantinople deserves to be. How can you say? Deserves a battle. Uh, it looks like we haven't got the full high tier battlements, which is a shame. The fully developed city's got some very interesting battlements. It looks like they ha they haven't got any kind of real infantry. Ah, not the, sorry, not infantry. Uh, arch archers. So the garrison army. We've got a few, but I doubt very much whether this is going to be. And it looks like that tower's already destroyed. And again, we're gonna. We'll probably have some. Get you on that. Take your fire at will. Damage buildings, take your fire at will. Probably. Well, let's we'll have some fun with the towers. Here. Archers, we'll just put you over here. Over here for the moment. I think you guys are not going to. You're not going to join in this battle, so. You can smash that wall. You can smash the tower. I'm not going to worry about the navy. Our reinforcements have arrived! Come over here. The battle is turning in our We have sighted the enemy. Again, I'm not going to risk these units because they're just too much trouble to. say they're just far too much trouble to take on. The enemy's oh. gates have been destroyed. Right, you can concentrate on there. Bit 
Gebiet sein. Ah, straight over the top. That's about right path for the course. guys can actually hit anything. Yeah, just do me a favour. Let's get the speed up a bit guys. Right. The enemy's tower has been destroyed. I'm gonna let you focus fire on this section of wall here. So we've got yep. The tower has been destroyed. This bodes well. I'm just gonna slow up again. Horse archers in. Horse archers in. Bring these guys up. Hidden units have been discovered. Hidden units? Didn't he? I wasn't even aware that we had any hidden units. Be honest. Get these guys in. Fire from over here, but just change these guys to flaming shot. You can drop the tower. God, no, God knows why I've got you guys on towers. about that. You get the feeling these guys don't really stand a chance. right through you can follow up I mean one of the problems of taking some a big city like Constantinople is actually getting all the way up through the city to be honest these guys are completely destroyed Archers, I think you can come in now. One nice thing about this city is you've got a, a nice big space on the inside here. Bring this cavalry in. So, so we're just going to push up that main road there. Nice, get in there. You can 
get out. Ion. Stop being idiots. Guys, get up off these towers, start taking them out to reduce my casualties. Push up this way. I think you can get out. Guys can come in. Just gonna speed this up again, guys. This way. We can detach some of you guys on melee. Chase those archers. Their fact, tower has been destroyed. This bodes well. You chase those archers. Chase these. I say we'll do, they do this in quick time. Guys, just keep pushing up this way. That was a beautiful city. I mean, I mean, it's all very well. I mean, it's one of the custom cities on the map. But I mean, I mean, this square. There's all these people, all the residents wandering around. As the White Huns charge through the settlement, like you do, you know. And goes go after them. Guys, come through the city. with flaming shot. Actually let's go with heavy shot actually. As I say we'll bring these guys up. Okay, let's get in closer. You guys up here. Just keep 
chasing them. They're starting to go down. You guys can withdraw. Don't really want to waste these units. I'm not sure what you're doing up here, but obviously some of these guys have taken quite heavy casualties. These guys are now starting to break. There we are, end of battle. Not the best of battles, but to be expected. I only lost 180, probably a lot from archers. Decisive victory, what has to be said. Only 3,000? Of course we're going to raise it. And this army is going to have to indulge in a bit of R&R. &R. I think we're... You can't make me. I can make you do anything you want. I was born to end lives. Um... I'm not going to wait about all day. Can I? I know it's a prejudice, but I, I would like to have a, another. Seeing these guys have got rank. Right. Make your get get you another Spetsnat. Spetsion Archer. Yes. You moved as far as you can. Ready for I can't. Oh, no. You can. We can't do that. I think we're gonna just move Let you in here. You, have no and you can encamp. And that will give you ah, Hindu Kush. Yes, yes. Red Looking forward to having a go with these. For the and I think that now it's probably gonna have to come down this way, but we'll check out. See who this is. So you've got a little bit of clout. Give you some campaign movement range. I suppose the Golden Army won't be able to move over. Across that spits where the Constantinople was. So here we are, guys. We've destroyed the Eastern Roman capital. I suppose they may have been had to had to have fought some battles against there. My oh, go away, Imyar. You're not going to get that type of cash from. Eastern Romans. They're still fighting it out here, but I don't think it's that big a problem. You should be honoured that Eastern I make such Romans an offer in the name of a noble people. Uh, yeah, why not? I'm still going to kill you, but I mean, it's an interesting question. If, she, if she's married and goes to live with the Western Roman separatists. Does that actually mean really? that nothing more? My work is done for now. My what do you wish of me? I think we'll just go out and check out who's out on here. And, on. and here's the Huns. Come sit, share my fire. Oh, no. Better get moving. Scoop here. That's the Gepids. I'm done. Obviously there's quite a big convention here, see if the Huns, who the Huns are actually at war with. They're probably at war with everybody, yep. So, we could 
team up with the Huns. That could be fun. I think, but to start with, I'm kind of. I think we'll see if we can get across this border so that we can resolve any contention. We'll bring you up in close support. So that these guys can next command. recuperate. Uh, I think these guys can just recuperate on their own. Gonna bring you up. I don't think you're gonna can you get across the water. Nope. It's, it's important I want you to keep building up, growing. You have more orders? Now the question is Come sit and share my fire. Is there nothing else? Part of me how, how big the garrison here in Rhodes. Pretty reasonable, got quite a fleet. Question is do I want to come down here with this army? I mean it's a pretty strong army. What, what level building is this? It's a tier 4. Mm. I think we're going to leave roads just for the moment. Nicodemia, I'm going to bring you down here for the moment. So I, I don't want you involved in contention. Lancer's encampment. Who's the guy? Oh, it's you, this army that's got the warriors of the Hindu Kush. I think we've got one here. We'll get rid of you. Yeah, here they are. Has missile weapon, excellent armor piercing. I mean, they are very expensive, but. They're going to start with a reasonable seniority. I think we'll just get one to start with. I would, I would like to get some into this army. I don't think. Well, it says these guys, these guys can recruit them. Yep. So. He's got the better melee attack, melee defense, it's the same. He's got the stronger armor, so I, I've got to do it guys, I've just got to do it. Um, Come fight with us. 620. They're cheap to recruit but they're expensive to hire but we've got to have a couple of these guys, we've got to see them in action. Especially in a siege army. I mean, you can imagine them hacking their way through. I mean, they're going to be vulnerable to. Uh, I can't remember the word again now. Ranged units, archers, but I think if they can get in some close in action on them, it'd be fun to use them. I mean, part of me is tempted to have a crack at the Gepids, but is it going to be worth the effort? I mean, yeah, it looks like the Gep the Huns are doing a pretty good job anyway, so I think we'll deal with our side. Oh, look at this lot. Six Hun stacks. Should we go and make the 
make the Huns happy. No, I'm not going to call the allies to help. This is just a little bit of fun. Probably messed up the Huns' plans because they're raiding, but... I've got a nice bit of cash out of that. Ready for battle! Actually, get moving. I think we're we've made a bit of cash out of that. We're now at war. Oh, the Eastern Romans have got another two settlements over here. That's good. I think we're let's come down here. Who's this? The Ostagoths. Well, it seems we're at war with the Ostagoths, but. So how many people are we at war now with now? The Himya, the Swaby, the Ostagoths, the Gepids, and the Gareth Monthians. Oh well, well That's okay. I think we're we're time. strong enough to to deal with that. And especially when we're travelling together as a pair. Your next commands. But we're gonna come in here. Come, sit, share my fire. You can just come across here and into here. Move out. Is there nothing else? For the dog. And you can get into Constantinopolis. Constantinopolis. Ready for more orders. I think the Huns will probably like us even more now because we're probably at war with the same people they are. Yeah, they're very friendly. And we would have guaranteed gained a lot of integrity now in our armies. Two hundred and four thousand. So, yes. I think we're gonna send you down here. There's a little. I could do more. Yes. Treading thick and fast. Don't think there's anything there. Oh, I forgot more about it. you. I think you can come this way. You can do this way. That's it. So gonna go. Ready for the warlord. Certainly want you to have the ability to knock down walls. Diaric diarycurium. Mm. An unfortunate. see what the Huns do. The Huns are our best buddies. They are our natural allies. So I intend to keep the Huns on side as much as possible until maybe the end and then we'll go toe to toe with the Huns to see how, how it goes. Certainly need to do some more raiding. But I think we'll save that to... I mean, to be honest, I'm in no rush to yeah, looks like the Huns are clearing the way for me. Actually, maybe I could come across and raid. Yeah, that could be a point, yeah. We could come across and just raid the Eastern Romans. Joyous occasion, got a son. Driven by tales of glory and riches, a large number of mercenaries have flocked to your land. Well, I'm sorry, I don't really want large quantities of things. You guys really need to recover. 
but I think you guys need to cry, cover more so I think what we're going to do is we're not going to rush in here this territory is probably quite quite rich so I think we're going to do a bit of raiding going to bring you up just this side of the border and we can swoop in next time going to bring you this is Theosilus. This is Theosilus. This is Theosilus. This is Timurium. Do I want to risk sending this army up? This is Thessalonia. Thessalonica. Maybe we can just bring you to this edge here. That's Timokium. Bring you. We're in good nick. Actually, no, we'll just leave you there for the moment. I don't think we need to be in a great rush. I think we're going to go with goat herders here. Wow, wow. You've got eight, so you're getting close to... Got the Socdian warriors, got the infantry encampment. You're looking good. Warlord's yurt. Trait gain curious. Chance of having children. 20% that's Sonicus. <laughs> this guy's gaining a lot of traits, sorry guys for laughing. But he's got a barren wife, but he's curious. And where's my You're now a level two general and you're in Thracia. And you're actually married to them. These sons aren't quite old enough yet. You're a scrappy. What what type of melee you defence? God almighty. You could actually do with some cunning. So what can we gain for here? Morale versus Romans, commanded force. Lame Siege, Astrologer, Zeal plus two, Charge Bonus, Morale, Looting, Attacking, Missile Damage, Construction Costs for Military Buildings, Military Presence, Unit Experience, Cavalry, that looks pretty good. Yeah, well, the thing I don't like is this, so where's he gaining that from? Yeah, because he's got minus one cunning. Melee defense. Upkeep costs plus seven all units commanded force, but but you're good in a fight. I think what I'm gonna do, it may seem a bit crazy. I think this is the you're the leader. You're this general here. You're now ranked two. What I'm gonna do is Yeah, yeah, the one is really busted up. Is it this guy? Sorry, I gotta go back and have a look. Wow, yeah, yeah. It's this guy here. Scarif. No. What we're going to do is put you in. That's going to co cost me a bit of cash, but I think if he gets a bit of battle experience, so he can lead the attack on Diarrhecarium, whatever it's called. 
and if he can get back his cunning he'll be quite a good general and then he'll become a rank 2 so he can lead the battle from that perspective I think this is the only way to and that general I've just replaced when the new horde comes he can become the general of that new horde there's the Huns that one's obviously taking a bit of damage Eastern Romans are still duking it out down here with uh, probably with Axum but I will be coming your way attitude with Axum plus 60% that's nice. You can come down here. And I'm just going to auto resolve this, guys. I haven't got. Actually, nope. I'm just going to in circle at the moment. You can come down can this way. I'm not gonna wait about all day. Really, really love to. That's the Swaby. I don't particularly want to mess about with the Swaby. I'm quite happy to leave those to the. Oh, no, I'm gonna auto resolve this, guys. I'm gonna have to wait to play with the Hindu Kush. Gonna sack it for 5,000. And we're going to raise it. And there's cunning down there, so we're going to have to push for cunning. And these guys have taken a lot of damage again. I should have really should have fought that battle, but you're in Nicorium, you're in Thessalonica. I think I don't really. I think if we bring you this way. How much money did we make with that raiding? A little bit. I think we're just so you, I can, those guys can recover. I think what we're going to do is bring this guy over this way into Thessalonica. Um, with the Huns around, I don't think I can afford to take. Actually, you can just stay there. Actually, and we got this army here. We're quite happily chilling out there. I want you just to keep an eye on them. Yes. I want you Why is to kind of come way? across here. My work just keep an eye on that. So they've got a small army here. How can I help? You didn't do that well, General. In fact, you got quite beat up. So I think we'll go one more turn, guys. I'm aware that the time's pushing on and I'm getting very, very wrapped up in this now. So. I was hoping that guy would get up to cunning a lot quicker, but obviously that wasn't to be. But we're certainly going to have to do a bit more raiding, but I can't see the point of raiding desolate territories. So. And. 
crossing water with my armies is going to be tricky. Like maybe I should have gone after Rhodes. Military alliance. I respectfully request that we cooperate fully in opposing our many enemies and rivals. No. Level supreme spies get extra spies. That would be good. Certainly going to get some extra spies. Let's have a quick look. Can you recruit spies? Yes. So, Azul conspirator. Gonna, certainly going to recruit you. And what can you recruit? This is the nice thing about this: is you can. Just drop one healer. Oh, yep, certainly going to recruit you. I think we'll send you up just to see what the Swaby are up to. It looks like the Huns are doing the honours in this area. And it looks like the Huns might actually beat me to dealing with the Eastern Romans. But I think we can... I think we'll just troll along behind for the moment, behind the, the Huns, actually let's send you across to here, and I think you can come down here and encamp, and I think what we're going to do is drop you in here to support the army. That might actually help improve the situation. And of course we're going to And we're gonna build some I think we'll build goat herd herders here. Additional food is I mean we're not gonna get that's gonna get their shepherd's camp but I think we'll go with the goat herders because the food is probably more important and what we're going to do is do the usual thing get there let's so say this is my and we're going to As a noble as a Kartsi lancers. No, don't want those, I want some actually let's go with melee attack, melee defence. Fight! Make your ancestors proud. For the pride. This guy's looking very, very good. Military training experience, We're certainly going to give him that. Keep pushing up these guys. I think we're actually going to leave you here, I think. And what I'm actually going to do is this guy's up completely up to strength. So what we're going to do is actually just do some raiding for a little while because I've got a feeling the Huns are going to come down here and take out Corinthus. So it might be a case that we may be going back the other way. So we're going to do an intern. You're currently not researching any technologies. Right. So we got Step Catharax, Hunnic Haunted Horseman, Construction Industrial Buildings, Wealth plus 5 from Industrial Buildings, Horde Growth plus 2. That could be quite good. Don't really need recruitment capacity plus 1 all forces. That could be useful. Fatigue rate, campaign movement range. That could be very useful. Charge bonus for cavalry. I think 
this rate we're going to actually finish the... I think we'll go this way for the moment. Just to get the charge bonus. Actually no, let's go for the Royal Yurt. That could be useful. General here. Sacking raiding income. Certainly go with that. Go go with some missile training. And this is the horde of the Great Khan. We've got no food here, so we better get some food into here. Not sure why he's got a food shortage, but certainly gonna need it. All of the Great Khan. I do we've got level four buildings all the way through here, so. And we got two hundred and eighteen thousand. Yeah, part of me says with the Huns pushing down against Corinthus, do I need all three hordes actually pushing? Or shall I pull I hoard back and stick to what I should have done in the first place, which was take on roads. I mean, of all the my new enemies, I would have certainly have a lot more integrity, so I shouldn't have to worry about that anymore. General Nova this man has completed his term of office. Dread Rider, so we've got some people here. And you can still only go that far. Something tells me I I'm gonna move you up here, to be honest. And then this guy could probably go into there afterwards. Venerable personal influence, horde build, construction costs, well for more horse horde buildings. That could be personal influence, integrity, cost all forces. I think we're going to make you a venerable elder. You're quite happily up there at the moment. If I move you up to there, then maybe I can get you into there, which will give you the possibility of some more experience. I don't know where the Huns went. Oh well, looks like we're just gonna have to do do this ourselves. These guys still need some recruitment capability. Something tells me bring these guys down so around here, people. just on this side of the Is border, that and that allows them will allow them to rejuvenate. And I think this time I avoid the Is there nothing else? conflict. Ready for action. Got this IFD great pair of parent army. You've certainly done well. Give you a bit more cunning harass army. I think we'll give you that. And what I'm gonna do is kind of correct my mistake here by sending you back this way and you're still in and you can camp and you can kind of just stay with this army. Um, and in the absence of a spy, we're going to have to send you out this way. And I think I'm just going to leave you. There's nothing up here. I think we'll send you across to have a check that out. I think we're going to send you back this way. What do you want? You can just chill out the other side of here. Just have a check 
tells the the rating. So we've only got two thousand fifty-two. We are quite happily checking out these area. How is this? Corinthus. Uh, you haven't got much of a garrison. Got a squalor problem. You're building a military wharf to build a navy, but pff, I don't think that's worth worrying about. So we're just going to have a quick check through here. I think we're. The food here, 48. I think we're. How's the integrity in this army? Oh, massive. So, I think we'll go up a level food here just so that we can take this, max out this horde. I mean, probably would convert this to a nobleman's camp, probably. Um, no, this does give allow me to recruit priests, and it's the only one I'm going to have, so maybe we'll just leave that with the Blood Riders. And this is where I'm going to leave it, guys. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed the episode. We've destroyed Constantinople. We're sweeping down, hit sweeping down here. We're kind of on the point of taking Corinthus, and this is a navy. Well, I don't think that's going to be a problem. This, this, this lot here. I think these are the Ostagoths. And I think next time we're going to kind of work on coming down here, taking out these three settlements, and then probably coming over to here. Most likely we'll stab these guys in the back on the way back as well. Because, I mean, they're Romans. You've got to destroy the Romans. And then after that, it'd be a question of do we come down here or sweep up here and kind of take out the Eastern Romans up here. Looks like there's somebody new reappeared here. So we may have to come up, go over there and say hello to keep the devastation going. And or do we actually go to war with Axon? Part of me or we come down and finish off the the Oops, do finish off the the Himya, but the first task is to finish off the Eastern Romans. I know we're chasing them around a little bit, but we're making good progress. So we've got plenty of cash. We're well on the way. I think. Ready for battle. Oh, ten, 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 ten. So where's my? Influence, Sonicus, you're a, a bit of a um, Gaba cunning, but you've got an offset of cunning. Let's just, just have a quick check. Who's Gaba? You're down here, let's have a good look at your stats. So you're stupid, but you've got you've got a loyalty issue. Uh, you've got a little bit of rank here maybe were and I mean you've got you're being promoted to there maybe we need to bring in some new blood you're a general in Thracia how about you you're a general in Macedonia I could bring in a s Let's have a look. Here, Avicol, have a whole morale versus Eastern Roman command force. Pfft. You're quite old 27, 37, 28. You're a fighter. I mean, you're a master planner. You've got lightning, vanguard. I think we're gonna go with this guy even though he's a bit, a bit stupid How can I help? Um, so we've now got our new horde here obviously we can't do anything at the moment we, well we could recruit a couple of mercenaries but 
what's the point? So that's so we've now got the consorts of Amazonia who will probably start off becoming my new initial economic horde. I will then what now start that? building up these guys a bit or we'll probably run both of these to start with as an economic horde while we get some cash flowing and then we will form up two battle groups so that's where I'm going to leave it guys I hope you've enjoyed the episode and until the next time whatever you do enjoy your game